Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 143 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Would you believe this is my second time doing this recording? Uh, except for the first time I forgot to hit the record button, so I talked for an hour and 25 minutes and it wasn't recording at all. Ha. Ah. Anyway. So the pillar of light that we were searching for turned out to be emitted from a god that was sealed inside of a large-scale weapon. It turns out it was solidified power, simply speaking. And according to Fia, that god's name is Pariah. Pariah is numbered amongst the seven pillars of the green forest, the gods who gave birth to the elves. So affiliated with the light faction of the present gods, he was a male god that handled a certain spirit realm. And on the old continent, Neisterina, he managed the earth and the plants so that spirits could live well. And here in Invelus Kingdom, in the Fiaspia region, he was the one who, li who deified the god Fiusia, or at least so it is written. Originally, in the Fiaspio Fies region, the elf god Pariah was the regional god. This was his territory. But, some of the humans under Pariah, now called the Dark Refiners, seeking their freedom started a rebellion. And, treated these weapons that could seal gods inside. They tricked Pariah, sealed him inside of a weapon, and planned on putting him to bad use. But at, the at that time, the young man Fiusia heard of the goings-on and he got angry and he roused the residents of the region to form an army. So, Fiusia got elves, dragons, and a number of Fia of humans to ally with him. And working together, they fought against the evil men. It was such a destructive conflict, there were, there were several places where the ground was so destroyed that even spirits cannot live in them now. In its aftermath, it was called the Spirit Territory God Wars, or the Fuchsia Holy War. So, Fuchsia, who won in the war, was able to save Pariah, who was sealed in a weapon. And thanks to his accomplishments, Fia ascended to godhood. Then, Pariah, having been saved, entrusted the region he ruled to Fiusha and the tribes that allied with him, and he himself returned to the heavens. So this is the legend of the present god Pariah and Fiusha, as it's passed down presently. In other words, Pariah, with the humans who were wishing for freedom, was the origin of the war. So Fuchsia, being a young man who was entrusted with regional godhood, to the Fuchsia faith, 
Pariah was a very important god. And Thea was actually Pariah's daughter. So, since we've returned to the castle, we get to talk about the pass. And depending on what she tells us, oh, in order to hear what she tells us, all of us gather together. All right, so, Fia, you've recovered your memories. It was right when we saw that scene. So there are other things we want to talk about, but now, Fuchsia's memories are the most important. Hey, you've got a mole on your boob. Yes, she remembered everything. She remembers it all. <laughs> oh, nobody's gonna get that joke. Jeez. So, Fia is unusually calm as she says this. And actually in reverse. It speaks a lot to how big what she said is. Alright, Goddess. Why is it your memories returned? Yeah, she wonders. She actually doesn't know the details on that. But when she saw her father, like just pop The lid inside her head just disappeared. Now that she says it of all remembers, when they first met, she said there was a lid-like feeling that kept her from remembering. So with Pariah as the key, some kind of shackle inside her head has been released. So, what should she start by talking about? Uh, even if you ask me, in other words, of all I was saying, I have no idea. It's kind of awesome when one of the characters says something you're thinking. In any case, Fia, whatever you want to talk about, I think that'll be fine. But how about this? Let's let everybody ask if there's anything that's been bothering them. Responding to Avaro's suggestion, leading up, Mikeyu shoots her hand in the air. Are we really... Yes, we're really doing it. Okay, here, call on me. Yes, Mikeyu, go ahead. So, Fia's father is that sealed god. Yeah, that's right. So, she nods her head properly. She says it's true almost like it's nothing. Uh, quote, I, Fia, am the daughter of the present god Pariah, end quote. So she's finally remembered where she came from. So she's still trying to smile here, but it's still got this lonely impression to it. She's forcing herself a little, doing her best to stay bright and cheery for us. That's amazing. So you're the child of a god. Wow. Yeah, 
Hey, look, look. She's been saying from the beginning that she's a god. And Mikayu, for your part, you've been living as the family of a goddess, haven't you? Okay, so sorry. Hearing the name of a god who is recorded in the literature and whom people talk about, she kind of shrunk up a bit. So this pariah, just his name alone, kind of intimidates Mikeo a bit. On the contrary, wise. Fia is a complete nobody, so we never had that eminent feeling about her. Oh, here she cries. It's so important to be famous. So, Fia is the child of a goddess. Normally you'd think that a god would be that case. Well, other than the ones that were deified as were mortals that were otherwise deified. Well, anyway, what Avaro's thinking is Fia has a parent. Yeah, how do gods reproduce anyway? Anyway. So, thinking it over again. There's something Avaro understands now. She said before that since she was born, she was a god. Right? Oh. So, the next question up is... Mikshuana. And she's got a hard, serious expression on her face. Okay, then. How about I go next? Okay, first of all, to confirm one thing, the god that was sealed inside of that weapon was Pariah. Is there no mistake about this? Right. No mistake. I see. With that, what Fiju, what the Fuchsia faith was hiding inside the holy grounds was the state of Pariah. This state that he has been reduced to. And that's right. Mikshuana's mission here. One was to come to the Holy Grounds. Maz Terio was able to figure something out in his own investigations, probably through more angels. But anyway, Pariah's state struck him as suspicious, perhaps. But without being able to get in there, they weren't able to get their hands on the truth. So they dispatched Mikshuana and company to investigate. Fia is Pariah's daughter. Sorry for doubting, but is that really true? Why would such an eminent person, uh, just, you know, Pariah's daughter, be so completely forgotten? You know, that is odd. And furthermore, in the records of the kingdom, it wouldn't be odd for her to be recorded. Her name, or her appearance, Something ought to have been passed down to the world. Well, to start with, since she went to sleep, a lot of years passed. 
And furthermore, Fia didn't exactly go around publicizing being his daughter in a big way at all. And Pariah, doing the things he does, also didn't really spread it amongst the other gods that Pariah managed. In order to show that Pariah was fine, and that nothing has happened to Pariah, Pariah himself kind of hid some things about his personal life. So, kind of like the Fiusia faith, there was some manipulation of data, huh? <laughs> Hearing manipulation of data, Fiat takes a look at Avaro. Alright, Avaro. You remember what Kud Vance told us about the god? Right. The god called Fiusia was a made up fictional god. That, yes. This god that should have been running the area in truth didn't exist. <laughs> Didom says that to think that Fuchsia really didn't exist in this world, he still doesn't really believe it. Can't believe it. Didom is centered around Influus in his life. It's not the only place he worked, but it's basically his home base. So ever since he was born, that existence has always been close by. Hey, look at it this way. Fia doesn't... Well, knowing he's made up, but... In truth, he didn't not exist. It's not that he didn't exist. Oh, there we go. How do you mean? You're not going to say that God is what we hold in our hearts or anything, right? No. That's not the feeling she's trying to give away here. Like she's tricking you. Fia thinks that everybody, in reality, was truly able to feel that presence. Probably, the existence of Fuchsia was just like that, connected to her father. So it's not a complete lie. Everybody, through Fiusia, actually felt Pariah. In that case, it was all a separate name for Pariah. It, would it be proper to consider it that way? Yes, yes. If you think of it that way, it's easy to grasp. So even if you call him by a different name, the existence is connected. And I see. If you believe in... To say that you believe in Pariah... Hmm. Alright, if you say that the, the faith goes to Pariah, then 
the fact that you're under the protection of a god doesn't change. So Kudvant said that they created this fictional god for everybody's sake. And what they wanted to do was, at all costs, avoid the faith getting cut off. But what Avarls really had doubts on was that this would be for everybody's sake. Making use of this fictional god and gathering faith, giving it to some different god, I've always speculated, but isn't that bad for the believers? So, in order that the god not be lost, not disappear, that is what is what they did for everybody's sake. And so, in that state, until they could fix it, they had to hide it. A taboo existence. If it was known to other countries, they would come to subjugate. Just like what happened to Fia all these times. Oh. So that's how it was. So Fia and the castle started out as a rumor and knowledge of their existence kept spreading. It even got to Masteria. So if Pariah was subjugated in that way, It would cause a lot of chaos amongst the believers. That's why they made up this existence in order to hide the truth. But even as they hid this, to try and save him they needed power. So they made up this fictional god and had the eminent believers spread his name and they gathered faith. Yeah, I don't really get that part. That's right. Kisner was also... That part also bothered Kisner. So without explaining what's happening, they take this power and pour it into the god. Wouldn't that be a problem later on? Wouldn't that just be a problem later on? Now we understand that we didn't want Pariah subjugated, and that's part of the reason for their actions. And I mean, a lot of what we've been doing has been to prevent the subjugation of Fia. But why, in that state, did they continue to hold the, to gather this faith, and they supported these human kingdoms too, Inrax, Infrus, Santa Eve, and that last country. It isn't important. The Prime Minister didn't even get... Hmm. Well, all that happened since Fia went to sleep. But she does kind of... can kind of imagine. So... When their power builds up, gods are able to do more. 
and there isn't any other way. Well, hearing that, one of our Fuchsia believers chimes in, Rishu. I see. A way of saving gods that are sealed inside these weapons has never been confirmed in the world. So, since we know of no way to save him from the outside, we can only wish for the god's recovery on his own. And the method of that would be to gather up this faith, build up his power until he, through his own power, is able to break free. Yeah, feel that thinks that's how it works. Although it didn't really go that well. Understatement. So much time has passed that Thea has been completely forgotten from the world and still Pariah has not recovered. Yeah, we are talking a minimum, oh, 600 years? But if you told me 3,000, I wouldn't put it past it. How long does it take? Okay. In fact, on the other hand, the god is completely crazed now. And his power is kept increasing all this time. And now this power that he can't control keeps pouring out of his body, forming these pillars of light. Well, in all the history that he's ever heard, after winning against that human faction, Pariah was saved. But in truth, Pariah still hasn't been saved. Even as Fiusia has passed through the ages, and their, continues, continue, their teachings continue to go on, So if it wasn't truly resolved in the past, then this war between God and humans still hasn't ended. So if we can save Pariah, then we can finally bring a conclusion to that. Well, that was Fuchsia's, the Fuchsia Faith's objective in this gathering face and wishing for his recovery. It's a pretty extreme plan. So this is the secret of the God's Haze. There's no secret greater. Although Fia wasn't able to remember it, she wanted to bring a conclusion to this situation. For that purpose, she wanted to go to the God's Haze. Even before she went to sleep, in order to save her father, she wanted to go. So, she stops talking for a moment and bows her head. So, 
So, please, lend me your power, everyone. Together, please save her father, save Paraya. Well, this isn't very godly. A very much polite request of us. But even so, this is very much Fia like. She holds the bonds with other people so importantly. And this is our goddess. And it's just like her. So, if she's going to make a request of us so directly, well, let's respond. <laughs> Fia, don't act so distant all of a sudden. You do remember I'm your apostle, right? That's Avaro's name. Of course we're going to help you. As our goddess, if you wish it, as your apostle, I will make a way. And furthermore, if he is Fia's father, in the future that means he's my father, right? If he's in trouble, there's nothing we can do but save him. Heh, this makes Avara blush a bit. But it makes Fia smile. Great, thanks Avaro. She loves you. So, Yo will do her best too. For the sake of our goddess here, she wants to do her best. If he is Fia's family, then it's the same as if he is our family. So we've got to save him. He only Keu. Thanks. I love you too, too. Glomp. <laughs> Can you say Mala stay? Oh wait, that joke's a bit tired. Nah, it's totally molestation. Anyway, Eel's in pain. <laughs> Look, you're putting too much power into it. Alright, Fia continues to hug those two. And Kisnir approaches as well. So, saving a god. As a swordsman. A mission more important than this could not be asked for. So, Kisner had to leave her home down and search for meaning to swinging her sword, to wielding her sword. She came to Influence Kingdom, and here she's found an answer. Alright, so in order to protect more, let us save the present god Paraya. And to the utmost make and use me, Kisnir Kagari, to the utmost. Kisner. To use you is rather improper, but let's say we're doing our best together. So Fuchsia's true nature was Paraya. Fusia 
So, from the history path down in Raul Rosso, Rishu knew that Fia was connected to Fiusia somehow. Well, she speculated so. But to think that they were father and child. So, leave everything to us. We're absolutely going to save him. And as your father, without fail, we will transfer our faith to him. Ah, <laughs> Rishu is hilarious. Anyway, to think that she would become family to Fiusha. And with this, Raul Rosso's place shall rise. Raul Rosso's status shall rise. Influence, Rora, watch out. Hey. Rishu, thanks. Yep, yep, everybody's family here. Well, we've been hanging out this long. If this is what you wanted to, for so many years, I guess we can't help but help out. So, the thing about Fiusha had him shaked for, shaken for a while. But now that we know the circumstances, he's convinced. So, now that we know the truth, now that we know the secret, we better take responsibility. <laughs> Indeed, as expected of Avaro's teacher. The way you're dishonest is just like him. Thanks. Somehow, you inserted something in there that makes it hard to to straightforwardly accept your gratitude. Yeah, that's... Perhaps rather than saying dishonest, I would say not forthright. What Fia's implying is that Dethelm really loves her, but he doesn't come out and say it. Hmm, well maybe that's true. It was also a dig at Afaro, and he didn't pass it, and it didn't get by him. Alright, Rosaline belongs to Avaro. So if it is his will, then she'll obey it. Furthermore, Fiusia has always taken good care of her all this long time. Since she lost her family, and there was the coming of a new age, and she was this left behind ver left behind piece of the old age. The god has always been there. So, she can't do something so rude as to not respond, so... She's going to cooperate as well. Well, thanks, Rosaline. Be sure to support Avaro as he tries his best all the time. Ah, what a nice smile. Rosaline's smiling. 
All right, fine, if you say so. <sighs> yeah, Avoro says she is softly smiling. And Fia is more than anything happy to see that expression. So, if our investigation comes to a close and there's no need to subjugate you, that would be the best outcome. So, as representative of Masteria, Mikshuana will also accompany you to the end in solving this problem in the God's Haze. Although the power she offers is humble, she will do her best to help. Now, oh, isn't she sweet? So in the beginning, she was among the people who wanted to subjugate us. But now, she is all but saying that Maz Teria is cooperating. Well, this makes fear. Oh... Easy at heart, let's say. Well, Havara's glad about it too. Alright, Mikshuana. That is great. Thanks a bunch. So, to save Paraya is to save Fiusia, right? Alright. Katarito doesn't want you to know the sadness of losing your father. So, as a dragon, one wing of the Fuchsia faith, Katorito too will do, give all she has and do her best. So, she's really grown into her role as the chieftain, hasn't she? Working this hard to fulfill her responsibilities. Katorito, you've grown so strong. <laughs> Katorito, thanks. Certainly, her father is so happy now. Well, is that everybody? We did basically a roll call there. Okay, so everybody's confirmed and of all looks from one face to the next. From the beginning, we were determined to save Fia. And in order to search out the way of doing so... Well, in searching out the way to do so, we should be able to find a way to save Pariah as well. And although we're not going to say because here... Our role in coming here to the, to the God's Haze it can be thought of as that as well. So we're going to save Thea's father and bring a conclusion to that ancient war. <laughs> right, so let everybody go and save my father. So Matching up with the voice she cows out with, everybody raises their fists. So, our plan is set. We're going to save Fia and also save Paraya. So, let's take action. All this time we've been heading north. And at the end, we're going to find a way for everybody to come out smiling. Oh yeah, the so-called happy ending, right? Okay. Now that I finally get back to my workshop, this is what I wanted that gold... dust that sparkles in a gold color. 
Damn, they need to name that something better. Or at the very least, something easier to translate. I got a bunch of rage, a pearl steel. Yes. Yes. Shut up, Fia. Oh. With this, we completed Karin's defense, magic defense series. Well, that's good enough. Man, look at all these angels. Okay, constructs. Oh, holy elements. So finally we get to do finish off the... Well, I wouldn't say finished off since she still takes... What's this? 20% 20 20 extra damage from Holy Element. But when she started, I think it was 75%. So, that much better. Hmm. Oh, yes. This is one of the mining buildings, I'm sure you recall. Whoops, here it is. And this is the new building we built. It also adds one to mining and also adds 10% to sale price. What does that mean? It means, I, it means if I come out here and do sales, I get 10% more than I got before. You may recall in the last map I showed you how getting a small healing potion automatically sells off at 30 gold. Giffle. But now that we've placed that item, we get 33 Giffle for it. So if I were to sell all of my sale items, I've got nearly two pages full of them. The windfall from setting this building down would be about 35,000. Impressive, huh? But I'm not selling anything. I never sell anything. So next up, Fia again. Which is good because if we go to the God's Haze now, there aren't any new maps. So it's obviously something... Shh. So obviously it's something that's going to happen here in the castle. Well, at the very least, that's going to happen in the castle. So, thanks for watching and next time we're going to see what Fia has to say. Isn't this like three scenes in a row? Getting me some action. Anyway, see you later.